Okay, so obviously it's been quite a while since I've uploaded a new video. I'm really sorry about that. I've been working on a bunch of different projects. It seems I haven't really completely finished any of them. <laughs> but here's a new DIY this week. So I'm actually filming in my room today, which if you've noticed is different from the last videos because I've actually been kind of filming all over the apartment and I wasn't filming in here because it wasn't actually clean. It is now clean in this area. <laughs> so now I'm filming in here. I filmed DIY in here, so for consistency, filming this here. So the DIY today is a ribbon slash jewelry board, which I have on my wall over there. It's really, really nice. You can put ticket stubs and notes and pictures in it, or you can do what I do for one of mine and I hang jewelry from it. So it's really cheap and easy to make, way cheaper than if you try to buy a ribbon board from a store. And it's really a lot more customizable. You can choose whatever fabric you like and get it to be any sort of design style that suits you. So it's really, really simple, and I'll show you right now. So first I should say that this is actually going to be a video of me destroying my ribbon board put in reverse. So I filmed taking it apart and then I filmed putting it back together but I wasn't actually recording when I was putting it back together. So I just reversed the video of me taking it apart. Okay so super quick here in the beginning it looks like. So you're going to take your canvas and then glue corkboard or foam on top of it. Then you're going to cover that with whatever padding you have. So I used an old t-shirt. So it was just an old t-shirt I had. I cut it up and I used it for extra padding. The foam was also extra padding. You know, it's not really necessary. You could just use the corkboard and then whatever padding you have. If you have cotton balls or... I don't know, just any sort of other <laughs> other soft thing just to make it a little plusher. Then you're going to wrap your fabric and you can choose whatever kind of fabric you'd like as long as you just cut it around your canvas so that it's the right size. So once you've wrapped your fabric over all your padding and your corkboard, you're going to take push pins and use it to secure your fabric. So there's wood in the back of the canvas, so I just stuck the push pins right into the wood. You can see that I'm doing it. In the video, it looks like I put the ribbons up first. You won't be able to do that, but it's just because it was in reverse. <laughs> so you put all the push pins in, just securing the backs, and try to get it as tight and as neat as possible. But it's also on the back, so if it's not super neat, it's okay. And I used push pins that matched on the front, but on the back I just used whatever other colors I had. And then when it comes time to put on your ribbons, which is after you've secured the back, what I found helpful was I laid it all out on the front, and then I put tape to secure the ribbons, and then I laid it on its front, and then pulled the ribbons and secured them on the back. I don't show in this video apparently how to secure them on the back, but you just pull the ribbons if you've had them in taped in place for where you want them, and you can secure them with the push pins as well. Then you'll put push pins in the front where every where the ribbons cross. So push pins where the ribbons cross. And then if you have the other kind of push pins that stick out a bit, you can put those wherever you'd like, and then you can hang your jewelry. 
So it's as easy as that. If you want to make the other kind, you just stick your push pins in and then you can just use other push pins to hang notes or ticket stubs or you could fit them underneath the ribbons. All done. So that makes it jewelry. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I'm selling on Etsy right here. So this is the listing to the Etsy. So I will make custom necklaces like this with your name, your sister's name, your mom's name, your grandma's name, your, your father, your brother, you know, they might like it. Whoever would like one of these, it will be your name and sort of, so this style of calligraphy, I can send you a drawing of what it will look like before I actually, before we go through with the listing, if you just message me on Etsy, say this is my name, I'll just sketch it out real quick, show you what it's going to look like, and then you can decide if that's good or not, if you'd like a different sort of font or script, we can negotiate that, and they'll probably, I think I'm going to list it for like 20 bucks, maybe less, I'm really bad at figuring out how much things should cost, because it probably cost me about maybe $5 to but it took me like four hours, so <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I really enjoyed making it and I would like to make some more. So you can put it on the Etsy listing right here. Also, if you want one of these ribbon boards, you don't want to make it yourself, I'll put a listing up for that too. And I can make you one for like probably 20 bucks. Yeah, probably 20 bucks. That would work for me. Um, this is probably not including shipping though. Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and this DIY and hopefully you make some really cool board or buy one of these.